I like to choose outfits that they say that bigger women shouldn't wear, you know, just to kind of prove a point, you know, um, they say that bigger women shouldn't wear crop tops, but Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a crop top. They say bigger women shouldn't wear a bikini. I'm going to get the tiniest bikini I find (laughs) and I'm going to put it on. I had came up with this idea of Maria and I um, taking a swimsuit photo together, being that she and I have the complete opposite body type. And I thought that it would be a really good um, visual representation for people to see. And a lot of people were just, um, you know, we we received so many amazing feedback. At first it was just for fun. At first it was just for fun. It was just like, hey, let's take a picture together wearing the same swimsuit. And it's it's funny because I, I remember clearly that me being the like ideal body type i was just so like insecure and i was like no i don't know like i don't want to you know i was just feeling that that way and she you know being the plus size model was like girl like what are you what are you talking about like you know we're all beautiful so she actually inspired me the ideal body type to you know wear a swimsuit and not feel embarrassed like at a public beach once tiktok came out like the platform itself then we started thinking that instead of just taking a, a flat picture to, to take it a little bit more further where people can see us move and stuff like that. We weren't even wearing the same thing. We were just wearing the same style. It was like a similar top. It was similar a similar, jeans. right. And so we were kind of just like, you know, let's kind of do like a BFF look, but you know, we're different sizes and you know, whatever. Let's just try to have some fun with TikTok. And then it received 1.5 million views. And then the second time I said, um, okay, maybe let's actually take it to a whole other level. Let's wear the exact same thing. Like, <laughs> like literally. Earrings, everything. everything has to be the same. <laughs> and then that, that was our second video and that got uh, 12 million views. And then, then that's when we think, heard. Yeah, the, that's when we started thinking like, that's oh, when this we, is actually something that people actually want to see. Marie and I are very precise when we're picking out our looks because we feel like, okay, so we need to try to have, we need to try to get something that goes up to, you know, a certain size, like just all the sizes, all sizes so that everybody can shop the look. Yeah. And, and, and that's too. something that like we're trying to see if we can achieve in the future where like all the brands can see style not size and they can be like, oh my God, there's more women out there that have like different bodies yeah. so that, you know, really good brands like Zara or like, you know, that you actually walk into a mall and you have the store there that they would have like all the sizes. Mm-hmm. Mar- Maria and I are doing something positive, mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're just two friends that are showcasing two different body types and that two different body, you know, being plus size and her being, you know, a standard size that we can both still look really pretty in our own way. Mm-hmm. And so if we get criticism from that, I mean, I feel like, but I feel like we feed off of that back criticism because we're like, Oh, you shouldn't be wearing like this type of crop top. And then on the next video we wear the crop top, like even smaller. And we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> So I feel like that like negativity actually helps us like yeah. see what what people are actually thinking and then we're like how do we how do we change that how do we change it how do we like yeah. approach it and turn yeah. it into a thing you know I feel like fashion plays a big part of me feeling confident because you know I wear a particular outfit and that outfit makes you feel amazing and then you know you you post a, the photo of you feeling amazing in an outfit and then you have all these people saying oh my God, you look amazing and you're, you're making me feel inspired. Now I want to wear that. And it's like that. And then that helps as well. So it's just like, it's, it's, it's so many things. I feel like a lot of it has to do with women just supporting each other and uplifting each other. I, I feel like social media is like the biggest bully the biggest bully like I spend countless hours on my phone just looking at these like amazing pictures and I'm just like oh why but then I catch myself doing that and I'm like I shouldn't be you know judging myself like I should just be happy for these women that are doing amazing definitely unfollow women who don't make you feel beautiful you know I I would suggest following inspiration uh, more inspirational women and more women who make you feel yeah. happy about yourself that's the best thing to do and definitely. um and definitely not compare yourself to other women we all shine differently right. and you know you shouldn't you shouldn't be judging and wear and wear what you want 